Hi, everyone. I'm Xiao Zhou Xu. Today, I will introduce our recent work, GBK GNN, gated by kernel graph, uh, graph neutral networks for modeling both homophily and heterophily. First, I will give a brief introduction of the background. Graph structured data are ubiquitous due to their vivid and precise description of uh, relational objects. There are various applications based on graph data ranging from social networks to biological networks. As a powerful approach for learning graph representations, graph neutral networks such as GCN, GraphSage, and GAT are widely used in, on the applications of graph data. The process of node, pre node representations learning can be roughly summarized as two steps. The first is feature transformations via one learnable kernel. The second is aggregations of transformed feature from neighbors. The learned node representations can be fed to the downstream neural network for specific learning tasks, such as node classifications, link prediction, and uh, community detection. Then I will introduce the homophily and heterophily property of graphs. In general, homophily describes the phenomenon that nodes tend to connect with similar nodes, such as citation network. In opposite, heterophily describes the phenomenon that the connecting nodes uh, tend to have different properties or labels, such as molecule network. Homophily and heterophily properties could usually be measured with an index homophily ratio that is formally defined as an average of the consistency of labels between each connected node pair. Some previous works show that common GNN models perform well on homophily graphs will have relatively poor performance on heterophily graphs. Beyond homophily ratio, we, show, uh, we also use node level homophily ratio in this work, which means homophily ratio within a subgraph consisting of a given node and the edges connected to the node. This property is to analyze the characteristics of local subgraphs with the different homophily and heterophily properties. In, <clears throat> in recent years, some common graphs which satisfy the homophily assumption are proposed, like GCN, GAT, GIN, and GraphSage. Besides the common GNN methods, methods de designed for the graph of heterophily arise as the previous GNNs for to fail to model these graphs. AMGCN introduced new graphs generalized by the similar of features and use three separate GCN to learn the node representation together. H2GCN is a graph neutral network combines ego and neighbor embedding separation, higher ordered neighborhoods and combination of intermediate representations, which uh, perform better on uh, heterophily graph data. CPGNN incorporates into GNN's a uh, compatibility metric that capture both heterophily and homophily by modeling the likelihood of the connection between nodes in different classes. Here are the observations from graph structured data. We order the nodes on a graph by node, le node level homophily ratio which we can talk in the background section. We have talked in the background section. Horror and Texas have, are often used as representatives of uh, homophily graphs and uh, heterophily graphs in literature, respectively. As shown in the left figure in Texas, the homophily level varies uh, greatly around the different nodes. And many nodes are in a mixed state which means the node level homophily rate is in range 20% to 18%. In this situation, we cannot easily determine whether a subgraph of a given node is homophily or heterophily. Even in the homophily graph core, there are about 30% nodes in the mixed state. On the right figure, we show that the occurrence of the node classification with the GCN model 
for nodes with different uh, node level homophily ratio. GCN obtained impressive performance for high uh, node level homophily rate nodes while suffering a rapid decline in effectiveness for nodes in the mixed state on both graphs. Uh, then, we then we analyze the generalization bound uh, and the failure reason of GCN. Complexity measure is the current mainstream method to measure the generalization ability of the model. There are different kinds of uh, complexity measure designed from different aspects. Here, I, uh, here we use the consistency of representation as our complexity measure. It's based on Davis bonding index and won the winning solution of the NIFS 2020 competition, uh, predicting generalization in deep learning. It can be rep represented like this. And the SI is a, a measure of scatter within representations of class I. And MIG is a measure of separation between the representation of classes R and G. Key means the number of classes. Uh, we use the complexity measure to analyze the generalization ability of GCN, and we have the fo follow theorem. For a binary, uh, for, no, for a binary node, uh, node classification problem and the input graph satisfy the assumptions, if, uh, if the absolutely value of P0 plus P1 minus 1 is close to 0, uh, then the complexity measure of consistency of representation will converge to infinite for GCNs with an arbitrary kernel. In this case, GCN will lose the generalization ability. The assumption of the theorem includes that this is a, a binary classific classification problem, which means k equals to 2, and p0 means for a central node belonging to the zero class, the probability of its neighbors belonging to the same category. Uh, this theorem um, tells us that if there are a similar number of homophily neighbors and heterophily neighbors for the graph nodes, for example, the P0 is equal to 0 0.5 and the P1 is also equal to 0 0.5 then the GCN will smooth the output from different classes and lose the discrimination ability, even though the initial node features are quite distinguishable. Such interclass smoothness is also a reason why GCNs cannot perform better than a naive uh, MLP, multi-layer perceptron, for the graph whose nodes have different homophily levels. If we look into the proof of our paper, we can find then the distance between the representations of zero class and one class MGI tends to be zero, when, uh, which makes the complexity measure C tends to be infinite. Thus, to, um, to avoid uh, MGI become zero in inspire us for our proposed new model gated by kernel graph neutral networks. Uh, now we have already known that common GNN such as GCN have strong power to model the homophily properties of graphs, while their ability to capture heterophilic graph properties is often doubtful. This is partially caused by the design of the feature transformation with the same kernel. One kernel cannot model the uh, similarity and the dissimilarity between the node features at a time, and cannot adaptively model the nodes with different node level homophily ratio. To solve the problem, we designed the novel uh, GNN model based on a bikernel uh, feature transformation and uh, a selection gate. Two kernels capture the homophily and heterophily information respectively and the gate in the, is introduced to select which kernel we should use for the given node pairs. Uh, there are two main differences co compared with Valina GNNs. 
uh, one is the bicornal feature transformation, and the other is kernel selection gate modules. For the bicornal feature transformation, as we mentioned about, the GCN's problem is mainly caused by a small intra-class variance, MGI, MIG. A single kernel of GCN cannot ad adaptively adjust the weights for different types of nodes according to different homophily properties. Mathematically, a single kernel GCN cannot change the proportion of P0 and P1. Thus, we design a bikernel feature transformation methods to tackle this problem. In detail, there are two kernels in our module, one, uh, one for homophily nose pairs and another for heterophily pairs. Uh, in an ideal case where we can exactly determine whether a pair is homophily or not, the intra -class, uh, class variance and um, the other one will be changed to. Okay. Okay, in our mind. The equation disappeared, so we, uh, we can directly uh, see the kernel selection gate modules. Uh, for the kernel uh, selection gate modules, in reality, we cannot directly determine whether a node pair belongs to the same class or not. So we introduce a learnable kernel uh, selection gate to the discriminate node pairs and adaptively select kernels. The formal form of the transformation of the input is listed as follows. Mm, the GL is a learnable function of the ice layer, which can be a multi-layer perceptron or a graph neutral networks. WS, WF, WD, and uh, WG are learnable uh, parameters. They ZLI is a, a hidden representation of nodes VI in the ice layer, and alpha IG is the gate signal. Similar to Wanena classification methods, a cost entropy loss LO is used for the uh, node classification problem. The difference is we utilize an additional cost entropy loss L, uh, LIG for, <coughs> for each layer L to guide the training procedure of the selection gate. Here is the overview of our method. Um, GBK GNN has two major modules, kernel selection gate learning and uh, by kernel feature transformations. The learning process of the kernel selection gate receives input graph information and output selection and signal alpha. To determine the <clears throat> to the alpha to determine the uh, if the label node labels are consistent, the bikernel feature transformation trains WS and WD, namely namely ways to ways to capture the sim, uh, similarity between nodes and the dissimilarity between nodes. It used the signal alpha from the formal module to uh, combine this to W in the process of message passing. Then doing mean aggregation, finally uh, producing node embedding. In the training phrase, we have an additional cost entropy loss to train the uh, selection gateway separations. Uh, then we conduct the experiments on seven data sets from PyTorch Geometric, which are commonly used in graph neutral network literature. The statistic of the data set is in this table. We can judge from the homophily ratio that uh, Cora, Satisir, and PubMed are homophily graphs via Connell, Texas, Wisconsin, and Actor are heterophily graphs. We compare our GBK GNN with three types of state-of-the-art methods, which perform well on heterophily graphs and six common graphs homo, uh, GNN methods, common GNN methods. 
Then I will present the results of our experiments and answer some research questions. The first is that, does GBK GNN outperform suitable methods on both homophily and heterophily data sets? The table shows that the comparison of the mean classification occurrence of GBK GNN with other popular GNN models, including three types of recent state of the art methods and the six graph neural network based methods. In general, GBK GNN achieves state of the art performance on all of the seven data sets. On homophily data sets, the relative error rate reduction compared to the second place models all have a decent gain. This illustrates that we do better on uh, homophily graphs than other, other suitable methods. On the other hand, we also have a good performance on heterophily data sets compared to the um, second place modules. The relatively error rate reduction on Wisconsin, Connor, and Texas are significant. Uh, the second uh, research question is how does GBK GNN perform on different splits of data sets? We, we perform experiments on seven or six different split splits in which uh, the training set contains 10% uh, to 16% nodes. Uh, for data sets. Um, table um, this table shows that our model had the best performance on the most, uh, most of the speeds. Uh, the third research question is that how does GBK GNN perform on the homophily nodes and heterophily nodes? The table illustrates that the test accuracy of GBK GNN on the nodes range from uh, range by homophily ratio on different data sets. It ranks the nodes uh, in the whole data sets by their homophily ratio and splits them into five separations. Uh, as shown in the table, both the nodes have a low homophily rate and high homophily rate uh, have a good performance. We suppose our bikernel feature transformation uh, contributes to the, this phenomenon. If a node has a high homophily rate, WS will contribute more to the performance. Otherwise, WD will have more contribution. In conclusion, we first propose to analyze the uh, homophily and heterophily properties in the fine gained minor. Uh, and, uh, to propose the uneven um, homophily levels among different uh, local subgraphs. Moreover, we theoretically analyze the reason for GCN's low performance on nodes in the local regions with low homophily levels. Secondly, we propose a model called GBK GNN to tackle the challenges by introducing the selection gate and the two kernels to model homophily and heterophily, respectively. It can theoretically improve the discriminative ability compared with GCN without introducing many parameters and hyperparameters. Uh, then uh, we, we conduct extensive uh, experiments uh, on seven real world data sets. Our, uh, our GBK GNN outperform most of the baselines on seven graph, seven graph data sets significantly. And in the future, we plan to use the multi kernel to model heterophily for multi class nodes classification. Under such a situation, there are multi, uh, multiple class label combinations all belonging to heterophily. We could extend the current by kernel design to the multi kernel design to model each kind of heterophily. And that's all. Thanks for listening and welcome to follow our work.